Whenever Para and Nike get together, it's a big deal. But it's been a minute since the Dutch artist and Nike collaborated, but the wait is over. Hey everyone, I'm Justin from Stadium Goods and we're here at our store at 47 Howard Street in New York City with another exclusive unboxing video for you. Today we're gonna to take a look at the hotly anticipated Para Nike Air Max 1. So let's get to it. And be sure to tell us what you think of the new Paras in the comments. How do you think they compare to some of the Dutch artists' other Nike collaborations? Like the Cherrywood pair from 2010 that you see here. Anyone who is familiar with the Dutch artist Para knows that his partnership with Nike stretches back more than a decade. Para's collaborations have focused primarily on the Air Max 1 like the pair you see here and they've gone on to become some of the most renowned colorways of the sneaker ever released. Uh, so the bar was set pretty high for this 2018 release, which is coming out alongside a similarly styled Spiridon. Even with those lofty expectations, Para knocked it out of the park. Let's start with the box. Uh, you'll see the box top is a plain white with a tonal white logo uh, across it. Um, the sides feature Para's art, which uh, also appears on the sneaker itself. Let's get a look at these. The pattern on these Air Max 1s is inspired by both the city and the countryside. And there are a number of designs that are incorporated into the shoe. Uh, the mud guard around the toe has this gray and white diagonal pattern um, with the Paras logo on the right shoe and a pink Nike swoosh on the left. The back half of the mudguard has this navy uh, pattern with white polka dots, which looks really refined and, uh, and polished. Uh, the heel counter has more diagonal stripes, this time in burgundy and pink, which are colors that Para has used extensively throughout his artwork over the years. The swoosh is done in bright blue, which is another color that Para has become known for, uh, and that sits atop a light gray quarter panel. The design from the box and the sneakers carries through to the insole, which has Para's logo here on the right heel and the Nike Air logo here on the left heel. For the outsole, Para went with a multicolor pattern, which is something he has done on other of his Nike collaborations. So it starts off with this kind of burgundy color at the toe, transitions to a pink, then a lighter blue, and a navy by the heel. So what do you guys think of the new 2018 Para Nike Air Max 1s? One of the things that stood out to me is that even though there's a lot going on with these shoes, they don't feel too busy or loud. Uh, when he was designing the shoe, Para said that he was trying to keep both the experienced collector and the younger fan who might not be as experienced with his work in mind as he was going through the creative process. Uh, which camp are you in? Do you think you hit the mark? Be sure to tell us what you think about these shoes and like and comment on all our videos. And also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure that you download the Stadium Goods app, which is available on both iOS and Android. And follow us on all social media platforms at Stadium Goods. That's all for now. I'm Justin, and I'm out.